of Lewis Crocker, the 26-year-old from Belfast who wears the black shorts with red in against the very seasoned 38-year-old Colombian Joel Julia who wears the silver and black and Crocker immediately taking centre ring, good jabs and hooks to body, immediately trying to really assert his authority on this contest. Had a spell of inactivity, not boxed since November 2021. Had a few fights fall through last year. A few bumps in the road as well. A disappointing year from last year. I am delighted that alongside me for commentary tonight, we do have the former British Commonwealth and European champion we're just down the road in Edinburgh here in Glasgow tonight and as well when I'm talking about inactivity for Crocker I think it's a story you know too well Lee and again you've had your problems in terms of getting the fights you want and and all the rest of it a year to forget but you're back you got the rust out of the system last month and, and raring to go round to look forward to action here tonight as well yeah no going going back on yeah I'm definitely one to that's experienced inactivity and I, I, I feel um, Lewis Crocker's pain um, but it's nice to see him back. He, he's looking like he's obviously he's relocated up here in Scotland with with Billy Nelson. A whole new team, whole new setup. So it's a fresh start for him. And yeah, no, it's it's nice to see him back in the ring. And he started off nice, nice and well. And he's looking he's looking like he's dominating this first round. So we'll see how the fight goes. But let's hope we can see some more acti activity from him because he's he's a fantastic fighter. Mm. Picking the shots well, Crocker to Head and Brody. That relocation to Green Gares and Billy Nelson. What will that do for him now as he's looking to really push on? Still only 26 years of age. And yes, this, he's this obviously. His 15th fight tonight. Yeah, and he, he's obviously been in and around the top gyms. Uh, he was with Adam Booth's stable before going with Billy, so he's, he's been in and around the the best of fighters, like some Michael Conlon, Harlem Eubank, um, Josh Kelly, he's been in and around all them guys, so I'd imagine he's, he's done some rounds with Josh Kelly as well, so it'd be very good work, and yeah, no, it's just like I say, it's, it's nice to see him back in the ring, and um, hopefully a bit of activity, because I, I do, I, I feel his frustrations, and I've, I've seen I've seen online and things like that, it's, it, it can be frustrating, but he's back now, and let's, let's hope he can he can keep on keep on grinding from here and get some good wins. But he's certainly done everything right in this opening round and those stinging hooks to body and really to Julio's credit, he's taken a lot of these shots very well because he's really, really stinging those shots in, particularly the body work's been very impressive from Crocker in this opening round. So the first round in the bag and a dominant round from Lewis Crocker and again picking those shots very well and really just forcing Julio back who's a very experienced operator as well been in with some serious quality over the years as well world title challenges all the rest of it so knows his way around it probably could have had an easier test to just ease his way back Crocker but are you impressed with that first round? Yeah definitely doing the right things Cracking away at the body early on, I wouldn't be surprised if it, the next couple of rounds we start seeing him bringing them upstairs. I feel like he's maybe planting them down there. Get Julio to to start bringing his arms down, blocking them body shots. They look like heavy shots, and and then we can see him coming upstairs and and maybe hopefully doing some more damage upstairs. And, th and that's when we see we see knockouts when when they when they have shots that are landing on his body, land on the head. I, I can't see him um, putting up with him. Well, the quality work absolutely with the Belfast man in round one, a convincing round from him. And again, straight out of the box to take centre ring. Now just tries to get around that guard of Julio to get the hook to the head in full effect. Good movement from Crocker as well on the way in. Decent stab to the body. Yep, there we go, that's the shots now. I'm starting to come over the top. But again, this guy's experienced. It's not a case of that he's going to get his own way and 
and land every shot at will. He, he needs to set up his attacks well and, and be smart with them, mix them up, don't become predictable. And he, He's doing it well, but again, he's in against a very experienced guy who's, who's been in with, with some top fighters, so he won't be going down easy, that's for sure. Well, Crocker's record to date is a perfect one, despite the inactivity. A bit like yourself, Lee, he's an unbeaten fighter. 14 fights, eight inside the distance. I'm really looking to progress now, but you know, Gino does have that experience. This is 55th bout tonight. It's only in the, well, the latter few years of his career that he's turned into a real road warrior and a way fighter that, you know, is collecting all the L's these days. But, you know, again, he is one with plenty of ambition, but that is a beautiful hook to the body. And Joel Julio goes down, and I can't see him making the count. The pain etched across his face, and I think Crocker softened him up, and then he gets him in the second round with an absolute beauty of a shot. And you feel the pain from Joel Julia. That was an absolute peach of a finish from Lewis Crocker, it's fair to say. I think he's back. Yeah, definitely. We've seen that from round one as well. He was whipping that right hook into the body, and I did say that I wouldn't be surprised if he started bringing that over to the top, but like I said earlier on, if that landed on the top of the head, that's that's a clean, clean knockout. So. For Hulu's sake, I'm, I'm glad that wasn't uh, uh, that was to the body, um, because <laughs> yeah. it would have been it would have been a lot more painful if it was on the temple, and it could have been a, a devastating knockout. Yeah, it's a sickening body shot, and very, very hard to get up from. And like we just seen there, he couldn't get up from. But it was a, it was a good performance from Lewis Crocker. Picked his shots well, and yeah, it's nice to see him back. Let's hope he can stay active, stay active from here. Well, of course, the European welterweight champion fighting at a. A bigger weight tonight, but I'm sure he'll get back down. Maybe 147. Be interested to hear what his plans are going forward. But that was, well, a fine, fine finish. We always hear it. Did he want more rounds after a period of activity? But what are you going to do? You, you got shots like that in the in the old locker. You've got to use them. Yeah, there's always the saying goes, you don't get paid for overtime, yeah. do you? So I'm sure he'll be he'll be back in the gym next week and just keep on cracking on from where he's left off. It's looking like he's got a good partnership up here with Billy Nelson and. I hope it's a, a long, successful career for them. Like you said, he's only 26, is yep. he? So there's um, there's plenty of time on his side. And Ladies and gentlemen, the official time, one minute and 59 game. seconds of round number two. Your winner by knockout, Lewis the Crocker. Well, Joel Julio, <laughs> straight out of the ring straight to the dressing room because I think still feeling the stinging effects of those shots. Oh, hello, camera. Incredible work really from <laughs> Lewis Crocker in his first fight back after that period of inactivity and he's making his way to the corner because you can see that, well, Hope is ready to speak to him. So, take it easy and stuff and then the shot came, you know what I mean? I started to feel good the second round. The shots came off, so yeah, I'm glad the power still there anyway. It's been a long time coming, this fight. How happy are you that you've been in there? You got the ring rust off. Now you can progress. Do you know I've visualised like getting back in here so much that like it's just it's not even like I know I'm fighting next month, so the focus is all next month already. Do you know what I mean? It's not like this was just get me back out. I just want fights. I want to be active again. So yeah, I'm, I'm obviously delighted with the the, the the performance and stuff, but I'm just buzzing to get back out again. Joel Julio as an opponent, what did you make of him? Yeah, I knew he was going to be tricky, and he always knew with 33 knockouts with 39 wins, like the, he is a big punch always there, like so. It was just, a, I, and I don't really watch my opponents, I didn't watch him anyway. So I was just going out there, figuring out the first round, seeing what way I felt, and, and then I knew I was setting up the right hand of the body, which, which caught him nice. Billy Nelson said that he wanted to help you with your shot selection. Do you think that he has got through to you and done that? Yeah, definitely. We've been working the body a lot, so we have, but you know, we've only been with each other like a, a couple of weeks, two, three weeks, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm saying in my next fight, I have a full camp behind me, and, I think I'm um, going to be exceptional.